Hey there, all my fellow barbecue enthusiasts. Mike Baker here, Baker's Barbecue. Hey, today I'm just going to do a short how-to video on how I light up my Oklahoma Joe's Bronco Smoker. These are also referred to as a barrel smoker, an ugly drum smoker. There's multiple names out there. But it is key that you do start these up in a proper way in order to make sure that you don't outrun your desired temperature so that you can keep it in the desired temperature cooking uh, range. If you outrun your temperature when you're in the startup process, it's really hard to get it back in range. So today I'm going to take you through the steps of how I start my smoker up and hopefully you'll find uh, some useful tips out of here uh, to help you as well. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments and I will respond to them as quickly as possible. All right, so one of the first things I want to point out in the startup process is on the Oklahoma Joe's Bronco, and it may be, you know, every, everybody's smoker is different, but on my smoker, the thermometer that this smoker comes with is definitely out of whack. It's not calibrated properly. It's off about 50 degrees or so. So what I do when I'm bringing my smoker up to temperature is I utilize my Inkbird thermal thermometer set, and I use that to monitor as I come up to temperature because the process is going to be this. I'm going to, I'm going to start the smoker. I'm going to leave the dampers wide open, both at the bottom and also here at the top. And I'm going to have the door of the smoker wide open just like that. When I light this up, I'm going to leave it opened up just like this for about 20 minutes. And what I'm looking for is making sure that the area around the starter, the charcoal area around that starter, is that charcoal has gotten good and lit. A lot of times it'll be starting to glow, uh, starting to turn white. You wanna make sure you have a good fire going. If you shut it down too soon, you're not gonna be able to get it up to temperature and you're gonna be frustrated. So the key is to leave this opened up for about 20 minutes to let that fire get good and going. And then from there, we'll start making adjustments to this bottom intake damper as our temperature starts to come up. I'm gonna cook ribs today. So my goal is to be cooking somewhere around 225 to 235. So as my smoker gets into the range of about 210 to 215 degrees, I'll start backing my intake off, probably back it off to about half. And then as it climbs closer to 225 to 230, I will start dialing it back into the, t the, the setting on the intake that I feel like I can have it at to maintain uh, that temperature. So actually I said 225 to 235. I'm probably gonna be more in the range of 230 to 245. So I'll let that come on up to probably somewhere around 215, 220. I'll make my first adjustment. And then as it comes up to about 225 to 230, then I'll make that other final adjustment to get it into to position to be able to come into the temperature range I want it to be at without overshooting that and be able to settle out in that range. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get it started. So let's get over here a little bit closer and I'll show you how to do that. All right, as you can see, I got my charcoal pan down here like I showed you a little bit earlier. Uh, I have taken, I've got, I've got charcoal down in here. I got about 15 pounds of charcoal and I have wood mixed in with that charcoal. You can't see it on top here, but it's mixed in. And then I have a few extra pieces here that here in a little bit after I get it started, I'll be throwing back in there on top. But the first thing I do is I'm gonna hit this starter right here uh, get it going and then I'll take some of the charcoal and kind of lay it around on top of it kind of pull it back in once it gets good and started uh, once again I'm a dampers I'm going to take damper fully open and my exhaust fully open as well uh, and I will be in a little bit putting this cooking grate up one here and hooking in my ambient temperature uh, thermometer to where I'll be able to keep up with the temperature as it comes up uh, in the startup process so let's go ahead and get this thing started up and get it going Sometimes it can be a little bit of a challenge. I'd recommend these limited torches. They're really good. Uh, they really work out good on starting these little logs up here. Sometimes they light right up and then sometimes they have a little bit of a challenge. It's kind of windy today, kind of nasty out here today, so it's kind of hurting it a little bit. All right, so once that there gets going here pretty, here pretty good, I'm gonna take a few of the briquettes and I'll just lay it over it. Uh, it's already starting to get going pretty good, so I'll just take a few, kind of throw them in there like that. Kind of get them up there around it. The way they can get started. And then we're just going to let that sit there, like I said, for about 20 minutes. 
as it comes up to temperature and then we'll start making our adjustments here shortly. All right, so we do have the starter lit. In case you guys are wondering, I am set up in my garage. I do have back doors and front doors and I got fans so everything circulates out of here really quick. Never has any leftover residue smell or anything like that. But I'm just gonna say this whole process, this startup process on my Oklahoma Joe's Bronco in on a typical barrel smoker is about an hour long process to kind of give you a frame of reference. So, we, you know, as we said, we started it, we let it stay open for 20 minutes, approximately, let that get good and lit before we start shutting down the lid. And, uh, and then the next goal is gonna be make those adjustments as it's coming up to our desired cooking uh, temperature range. And then once you get that done, the next go is going to be for it to start burning uh, clean smoke, relatively clean smoke. So that's kind of the process. So we got it uh, lit now. Like I said, while it goes, we'll go about 20 minutes and then we'll come back and start making some uh, adjustments. Uh, actually, we'll come back and shut the lid in 20 minutes and then we'll start watching it and making adjustments uh, from there. All right, we're about 10 minutes into it. See how it's flaming up right there. That's fine, just let it go. What you got to realize, you got a starter in there, and there's no charcoal, there's no lighter fluid, anything like that, so it's not going to go ablaze. So we're just going to keep watching it, uh, probably about another, I don't know, 15 minutes approximately, 10 to 15 minutes. We're probably going to be in a good position to think about dropping the uh, lid down. All right, so we're about at that 20 minute mark. See how it's going really good there. See how it's lit. Some of the coals are turning white. You got a good flame going. You may not always have a good flame going, but see how the coals are turning white right that one spot until it's gotten lit really good so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to shut the lid i'm going to leave the dampers wide open all right so now that i got the dampers of the lid shut dampers wide open i am going to go ahead and put my uh my eat birth the thermometer in here uh until i can start monitoring my temperature so how i do that is i just simply open the lid back up drop in my grill excuse me my grill grates and I'm just going to put my ambient thermometer in here. There we go. Sometimes that can be a little bit tricky, <laughs> getting that thing to fit up in there. So and then from there, I'm just going to shut it back down. And we'll start monitoring our internal or our ambient temperature from there. Uh, right now, to give you an idea, it's coming on up there. It's about 100 and... At 125 to 130 degrees, so it's continued to climb up. So we'll keep an eye on this thing and start making adjustments here shortly. All right, so the temperature's coming up really quick. Uh, I'm about five, I'm about 10 minutes past the last time I was talking to you. Temperature's coming up really quick. We got a lot of wind today, so I think it's really cycling through there. So I'm going to go ahead and back this off. I'm actually going to put it down. I'm backing it off three quarters of a way. It's how quick it's coming up. Just remember, every time it will be a little bit different. So you do have to compensate for the wind, the weather, and all that stuff as you're doing this. So my temperature now is riding at about 225 degrees, starting to stabilize out. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some extra wood in there that I forgot to do just a second ago. So to do that, I'm just gonna open this thing back up, just slide my grate off to the side. Put my grate back in here just like that. Shut that back down. So what we have now is our temperature's up there at about 225, 230. I am adjusted back. I am just a little bit over, I'm probably about a quarter to a third open on my intake. My exhaust is still completely wide open, which I'll be leaving that wide open uh, throughout the cooking process in these barrel smokers. You need that to be open so you get a good exhaust of the uh, any dirty smoke that may be in there, you want to get that get that through the process. So we're going to sit here and watch this, and I'll come back to you here shortly when we make our next adjustment. I planned on two adjustments, but we'll see, maybe more. Like I said, the weather is kind of crazy days. You can see it's rainy out here, winds blowing like crazy. Uh, so that's the beautiful thing about this. It's different every time you get in here. So don't get frustrated when you're doing this. Go with the process and just learn to master the smoker. Don't let the smoker master you. All right, so I'm back for my next adjustment. It's been about five minutes or so. It's coming up really quickly today. My, my uh, ambient temperature is sitting in there about 235 degrees, so I'm right in that range where I want to be at. And I'm going to make my final adjustment. This will actually be my, 
I can't remember if it's my, I my second or my third. But anyway, we'll figure it out shortly. But I'm going to go ahead and dial it in where I want it to be at. All right, so I'm sitting in there. I am opened up barely. I mean, it's it doesn't take much on this intake to be open, to get good airflow through there. Still have my exhaust fully open. And uh, temperature is settled in right at 235 degrees. So... All total in the process right now, I am about 40 minutes into it from the start. So this last 20 minutes or so will be basically allowing the smoke to clean up and get ready to start putting in the uh, my ribs. And also make any kind of final adjustments here. Sometimes after I make that final adjustment, I notice my temperature may drop. Uh, and if it does, then I go back in here, I may make some slight adjustments back up. But it's a fine tune process from here. But when you bring your smoker up to temp like this, especially your barrel smoker up to temp like this, it's so easy to control because once you get it into that range as you've been adjusting coming up to your desired temperature, you've been controlling the temperature without it getting way, way out of range. And then you're trying to pull it back in, then you're, then you're always adjusting your dampers, you're always messing with it. If you do it this way, adjust as you come up to temp, allow your smoke and your fire to be robust enough to power on but still tame enough to where you can control it then you can get it into your desired range like this and you dial it in and I'm going to tell you it'll stay now you will have some temperature adjust variance as th throughout the process and what I've learned that to be you know outside of crazy weather or something what I've learned that to be is a lot of times as that fire is burning its way through that charcoal pan and work and walking across that charcoal and it gets into a wood chunk that wood's going to burn a little bit higher. So if you're watching your temperature and you've been cooking good for a while, everything's smoking fine, everything's cooking good, and all of a sudden, bam, your temperature goes up 5 degrees, 10 degrees, just kind of sit on it for a little bit as long as it's been doing good. It's probably gotten into a wood chunk or into some of your, uh, whatever kind of wood you got in there, and it's going to burn a little bit hotter for a little bit. So let it work through that. You know, if it starts getting way out of range and you're kind of concerned, then definitely back it off. But just kind of walk through that because I've learned that to be a lot of the issue uh, is when it gets into the wood. So we're going to let it sit here, uh, start cleaning this smoke up, and then we'll come back here shortly when it's ready to put the ribs on and, uh, and see how we've done. So that temperature's sitting right there in range, 235, perfectly. And as you can see, it's off quite a bit compared to my temperature gauge on the smoker. And, uh, and we got some good smoke coming out of there. So uh, here shortly, we're gonna let that smoke uh, kind of clean up a little bit more, and then we'll get the ribs on. Of course, after you get it set, it's dialed in uh, to your intake, to your range, so forth. You know, there may be some minor adjustments you have to make. I mean, like I said, it just depends on the weather, that kind of thing, the wind, so forth. So, you know, if you have to make some more adjustments, don't get discouraged by it. Just make those adjustments and kind of play with it. Try to avoid making huge adjustments, though, because then you start having all these wide swings and temperature and just you know so make small incremental adjustments as needed unless you're way up there in your temp and you got to bring it way down that's different but if you're just kind of flowing out through the cooking process especially early on you know if you got to make those adjustments just make them not a big deal all right so we're right at that hour mark as you can see we got pretty clean smoke going back here uh, and temperatures dialed in there i'm sitting right at 225 230 i mean it's just purring like a kitten so let's just do a quick recap. First thing you want to do is you want to open up your smoker lid, open up all your dampers. You're going to start your, your charcoal pan. You're going to leave your lid and your dampers, you're going to leave it wide open for about 20 minutes and let that fire get pretty robust, allowing the charcoal around where that starter was to start glowing, turning white, uh, and making sure you got a pretty robust fire going there. After about 20 minutes, approximately and you feel like you've got a good start there to your fire you're going to shut your lid down you're going to leave your dampers your intake and your exhaust completely fully wide open and then what you're going to be watching for and you're going to also insert your digital thermometer or if you trust your regular thermometer you can go with that but you're going to at this point what your goal is to do is start watching your temperature as it comes up and being in a position to start making adjustments so as you're watching your temperature and you start creeping into the lower part of your desired cooking range, you'll start making your adjustments. 
So our range was 230 to 240, approximately somewhere in that range. So as I started approaching the 230 mark, I was in the 215 to 15 to 20 ish range. I looked at starting to back it off. But if you recall, my temperature was coming up a lot quicker because of all the wind. So mine was coming up quick. So I actually had to back mine off about uh, three quarters of the way. And then from there, I made a couple minor adjustments to get it right in line. And right now, it's right in that 230, 235 range and just purring perfectly. So once you get it into this range, your desired range, and you got your bottom intake uh, set, just leave your exhaust wide open. And then from here, you're ready to start cooking once your smoke gets clean. Our smoke looks clean. I may let it go for just a little bit longer, maybe clean it up just a slight bit more. But we're good now. We got the temperature up, smoker's purring, the smoke is getting clean. I can control uh, what's going on here without it getting way outside of my cooking uh, desired temperature range. And now we've mastered the smoker and we're ready to put those ribs on and master those ribs. So I do appreciate you guys being with me today. Hopefully you found this video to be a little bit helpful, a little bit educational. Um, and hopefully it's gonna help you next time you light up your ugly drum smoker, your Oklahoma drills bar uh, Bronco, you know, whatever kind of barrel smoker you got. Hopefully this will help. And so if you would drop me some comments down below, let me know what you think about it. Uh, and also if you would, please like the video and subscribe to Baker's Barbecue channel. I greatly appreciate your support. It's phenomenal. I enjoy this interaction back and forth with you guys. And I enjoy learning from you as well. So you guys have a great day. We're going to get this thing finished up here. And then we're going to get to smoking.